So today we're going to talk about the purpose and the function of doing a measured ball measuring cycle or pickup on the Sinker EDM machine. The purpose of this is to set a reference location that we're going to use a little bit later on to do an electrode measurement for setting the electrode offset when we use an electrode that's just mounted in a holder, not milled on center in a vertical mill or a horizontal mill. The purpose of it is to find the center of the spindle location in reference to that table ball. The other purpose here in using a table ball and a spindle probe is for doing accurate measurements, where only the high edge of the sphere actually touches the workpiece, as opposed to flat surfaces that may not be vertical to each other. This helps to provide for a more accurate measurement. We can see on the magnet we have a table ball set up and a spindle probe above it. With that, we have a measuring cycle that's canned in the machine on the control. It's called measure ball. For this measurement, we put in the spindle probe diameter, the table ball diameter. We're telling the machine to automatically set the coordinate number of G500, G54. We'll retract it after the measurement has taken place, 200 thousandths from the table ball. And with that, we're gonna do a measurement. So here we go. So the probe will come down and touch on the Z axis, and then it's gonna move off an X for both positive and negative direction. Then it'll touch off in the Y direction, positive and negative. So this process will go on. As it continues through Y, it'll go back and process in positive and X and negative and X once again, and then finally touching in Z. At the final touch of Z, it will register or clear the registers to zero for G500, G54. And that's your measure ball pickup. We've set G500, G54 to a relative position. That position is in reference to the home position of the machine. Your absolute G53 position at X0, Y0 is the back right corner of the machine. That creates a work offset for G500, G54. Everything that's done from that reference position is relative to G53. We're now going to go in and we're going to do another measurement with measure ball. This time when we do the measurement, it's going to rotate the X or the C axis 180 degrees. What that will do is it's going to pick up the error that's in the probe in the spindle. So after the first complete cycle, for the measurement, C-axis will rotate 180 degrees and again pick up X and Y and Z. So now we have a 180 degree rotation on the C-axis and then the measurement will take place again. Through this process, we can see that the ball is picking up at the center of each ball, spindle probe and table ball. With that, the measurement cycle is complete. Rotation compensation, which is the values for the offset of the spindle probe to the table ball. In this case, it's 80 millionths in X and 90 millionths in Y. 